Okay guys, here's the deal. We purchased five acres of bare land and we moved to our off-grid property one year ago. And one of the first, or one, two of the first major projects that we've taken on included building a deck and also building a wood-fired cedar hot tub, which is awesome. And since we've done those projects, it's raised a lot of questions such as, why did you build a deck and a hot tub before your house? Seems like a legitimate question. So we're going to talk about that today. We finally have space. So let's dive in. First, before we get too far into this video, we just want to explain that we do have a home. Okay, it's not a brick and mortar home. It doesn't have stick walls. But we built this cabin uh, last winter. It kept us warm and dry. We keep our wood stove in there. Then we also have this RV garage, which is insulated, where we keep our travel trailer. And there's actually a really good reason we chose a travel trailer for this project. We made a video for that. Watch that video and you'll have all the answers about why we chose a travel trailer. We also have a video about all these reclaimed materials, which are what we use to build this cabin for around $300. So just to get that out of the way, we do have a place to live and we're super comfortable. Next resourcefulness. Look at this pile of garbage. We spent all this time gathering junk materials for basically free because we thought we might use them. And we did. We built an awesome deck out of materials that we already had. So let me take you on a really quick tour and show you some of the ways we were resourceful. Check out these banisters, they're awesome. We made them out of branches left over from trees that we fell. <laughs> they kind of smell like stink bugs. These posts are the top of a pine tree that fell over in a windstorm. Jesse took the mini chainsaw mill to them and we've got posts. These risers are reclaimed bridge ties that our neighbor gave to us. And then these banisters are leftover staves that we cut in half left over from our hot tub build. Last fall, we had the chance to pick up a bunch of reclaimed building materials. So we got these bricks, we needed some stairs, there you go. So then we had this deck, but we had nowhere to sit. And although I like sitting like this, we thought it would be good to have some furniture. So we looked at our junk pile, got some branches, leftover lumber, added some salt, added some pepper, put it in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes, bam, furniture. Next up, validation. See, when we moved to this property, we had this genius idea, we're gonna build this beautiful home. But the problem was we didn't know if we had what it took to build out of materials that we have on our property, namely trees. So we had to figure out the tooling. We also had to figure out how to move the logs around. And what we were trying to figure out with this deck and hot tub project is can we even do it? Uh, it turns out that chainsaw milling's not too bad, but moving the logs, that's pretty difficult. Because we wanna make our own materials, we had to make a lot of decisions that are already made for you when you buy lumber from a lumber store. So we started with a tree and we had to decide, well, what thickness do we use? As a matter of fact, what species of tree should we use? So we end up having to figure out what size of joist, the thickness of our decking, etc. In the end, we use the top of two fir trees and one whole pine tree to build the frame and do the decking on this guy. The deck and hot tub were also a great opportunity to learn a lot of new things. Some of it was kind of refresher, for example, just the fundamentals of building, but it was also a chance to learn how to build on a hillside. Um, it also involved a lot of learning about working as a team. A lot of couples, when they build a home, they talk about how much stress it puts on the relationship. And since Alyssa and I have never really worked on something this big before, especially a house, we thought it was a great chance for us to work on something that's not quite so sophisticated and it give us a chance to learn how to work as a team. Also, Alyssa's never worked around construction stuff before, so even running something like a compound miter saw, chainsaw mill, ratchet driver, impact driver, all this stuff was completely new to her, and starting to do that on a house would be extremely stressful for me because I had to do a lot of training. So a smaller project like this was a great chance for us to kind of get our bearings, work together, and then have a success together so that when we do work on something that's much harder, it's a lot less likely to break us. Another really great thing about this project is it's a morale booster. For a lot of people who do their own DIY home builds, it can take a year or even two years to complete that project. And so it kind of runs a long time and you can kind of get exhausted and sometimes you even kind of lose your passion or motivation. But when you have a project like this that's already done, it really helps you kind of get that motivation or that spirit back because you can look at where you've come from and it kind of gets you going again on the bigger projects. And last but not least, relaxation. 
For any of you who've ever built a house or even developed a property from scratch, there's a lot of work to be done. And we've had a lot of days where we're extremely sore and even immobile. Uh, and you really don't realize the value of a long hot shower, which we don't have the option to take, or even a bath until you don't have it anymore. So for us, having a hot tub really gives us a place to relax, soothe the muscles, stretch, and help us avoid chiropractor and medical bills. So it's pretty awesome. Yeah, and one of the reasons we moved here was so that we could enjoy the view. This particular property, we chose it because of its view. And where the deck is positioned and the hot tub is a place for us to come and kind of remind ourselves why we started this journey. And Alyssa and I can definitely attest that there's something psychologically good about knowing when you're out in the woods working hard all day that there's a hot tub at home waiting for you. Oh yeah. And the fact that it's wood fired works really good because we have lots of wood and not very much electricity. So uh, it heats up in about two hours and we are very happy that we built this tub. Cool, should we wrap up the video and remind people to follow our blog and Instagram and all that good jazz? Ah, uh, kind of busy right now. It's Wednesday at 2 p.m. I don't really have anything going on. So I think, I think they'll figure it yeah, out. Yeah, I'll figure it out.